What's going on everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. The, the concrete news that we got is Stephanie McMahon resigns from WWE. Mm-hmm. Not taking a leave of absence. She resigned. Not, you know, saying that, you know, well, since, you know, my dad's coming back and all that stuff like that. No, and the, now I can finally take the break that I was planning on doing. No, she quit. She ain't the CEO. She is not part of the board. She ain't part. Of, she quit. Quit WWE. This had to happen. God, was this on Tuesday that this happened? Or I think it was like or, Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. It was three days ago. Yeah, when I saw the the thing on social media and pop back up. I'm talking about some. Uh, it was it was it was a shock because uh, Prime sent it to me, and I was just like, okay, let me look it up. And then of course, uh, it came out and i was like oh my god this thing is this 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 thing is really real and of course definitely being uh what's funny is that the thursday before this all this happened stephanie and nick khan did a zoom meeting with the employees of wwe ensuring them that when vince is back here just to just to look over for the sale of the company and that that Nothing else from the creative process or anything that management is doing here will be affected by any of this. Then and they believed it. T- t- I, I guarantee you they did. I guarantee you they did it. I did. They, they try. It's it's PR. They had to do. do, do they did do it to save face mm-hmm. because every, as soon as as soon as everybody heard about Vince McMahon, the majority of them automatically got scared. Yeah. And automatically, I said, because they 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 know, especially when when, when you're in, in in that kind of business of, you know, like billionaires and millionaires, you already know that your hands ain't never clean, Mm-mm. and they, and they, and they never going to get clean. So when they're trying to save face, you know, so, so so I guess the employees will stop asking them questions, whatever the case may be. Then three days later, Stephanie is, has resigned. Now. Of course, Stephanie McMahon put out uh, a statement, you know, uh, talking about uh, her leave of absence. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, read the whole thing, but uh, she put something out and it was like, Dear the Universe, about eight months ago, I took a leave of absence and within a few weeks, unexpectedly had the opportunity of a lifetime, I had the privilege to return to the uh, to return as the co-CEO and chairwoman of the board of WWE, I cannot put into words how proud I am to have led what I consider to be the greatest company in the world, working alongside a remarkable leadership team and one of the strongest executives I have known in my co-CEO, Nick Khan. But, she say but, but it says, our, our founder, Vince McMahon, has returned as executive. Unfortunately. Uh, it's, I think she wanted to put that. I think she did. Too. Executive chair, uh, as executive chair, and is leading an uh, exciting process regarding uh, strategic alternatives. And with Nick's leadership and Paul Triple H Levesque as chief content officer, I am confident WD is in the perfect place to continue to provide unparalleled creative content and dive maximum value for shareholders. And then... uh, What shareholders? (laughs) And then, you know, to skip a little bit more, it says, I look forward to cheering on the relief uh, from the other side of the business where I started when I was a little kid as a pure fan. I will always remain dedicated to WWE. I truly love our company, our employees, our superstars, and our fans. And I am grateful to all our partners. Thank you for everything. Then now, together forever, Steph. Y'all, listen. This then now together forever. They think of this shit. Yeah, I, I'm I'm serious. You're like, like whatever. Farmers, bum, 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 bum. Listen, exactly. Then now forget forever 
together is like if y'all put us at the end of one more statement. Exactly. They, 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 With this BS. Now, what was funny is how Twitter, social media in general, was was responding to this. People was actually out there thinking that you know, well, since uh, she wanted to leave her absence already, and since Vince is coming back, she didn't ever want the CEO job in the first place, Mm-mm. and now you know she can take her leave of absence, I'm not or she it. no. God, if y'all believe in that, something fucking wrong with y'all. Something is, is is wrong with y'all, and y'all cannot save face, and y'all cannot get out of you know this fantasy that y'all thinking of. This woman quit for a reason. Mm-hmm. Okay, where more stuff was coming out, where uh, I'm not even sure because see now they, they have reports coming out saying certain things, and then they back checking these reports like as early as tonight. Where it was just like, yo, Stephanie Triple H was not was, was not for sale. I heard and, that. And then you got other reports that were saying talking about some. Well, they wasn't against the sale. Well, reports were saying that and reports were saying that there was. There's reports saying that Nick Khan had to be the mediator between Triple uh between Stephanie and her father. I can and see that. then there's reports coming back talking about some. There is no problems with that. There has to be something. Obviously, we don't know. Uh, and then after all this Stephanie stuff came out, then literally about an hour later, rumors about WWE being sold to the Saudi government started coming out. And that just turned everybody's head. Now, honestly, it was still a story. It was still a rumor that later on uh, that that night, early into the next morning, they de- de- look, my fingers are up. Debunk that rumor. Uh, that was a that was when I said big rumor. I mean, like they was like basically, everybody was like, "Oh, it's done deal." Basically, we just waited on it. I'm like, right. pretty much. It was like everybody was sharing it too. I was like, mm. yeah. Usually, I'm not the first to believe it, but like when there's like multiple people, like multiple, multiple higher yeah. up people, I'm like, oh, maybe you know. Yeah, like like, like but however, I still think there's a little smoke to that fire. Same. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, and when, uh, read more about it, when the stars at NXT found out about that at New Year's Evil, they said that the morale backstage was depressing. Mm -hmm. You can't, not when you have a big show like that, you can't have your talent back there being depressed. But say, yeah, because I thought it was odd that Stephanie came out with this statement and saying that she resigned. It was way past, like, business, business hours. hours. Yeah. Even, even in Connecticut. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like 7 or 8 a.m. Uh, right? Yeah. I was like, this couldn't wait till tomorrow morning? No? Okay. Nope, <laughs> not at all. So, di- so everybody was scared about, about, the, about the Saudi thing, and then it came out saying that they, they, they weren't uh, going to uh, go to Saudi Arabia. There's not even a guarantee that they're going to even sell. But then there's still things that they, that they brought people to invest in the sell. Hell, even Tony Khan was getting his little laughs and everything like that. Also, you know, you see his tweet talking about some anybody working at me is being, being real nice to me now. What a great day! Oh, Tony Khan. And I'm just, you know, I'm just like, and I know there was rumors about what, what, what maybe the Khan family wants to go in there and try to. I saw that. Yeah. I think at this point, people just throwing anything at the wall to see what sticks. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I agree with you. I think there is some smoke where there's some fire with it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they walked it back because uh, they want to get everything, all their ducks in a row first. Mm-hmm. And then come and slap us in the face with the news that they did. So, yeah, before, before I go deeper into the news, especially about going to Triple H right now, focusing on Steph. Y'all thoughts about this news and what do y'all think is going to come of this? Prime, I'll start with you. Uh, Nothing good. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> nothing not. good. Like, do you honestly think that, you know, there's some smoke to this fire with the Saudi Arabia thing or like... What, what? I have no comments because I... I my comments are... <laughs> I have you... a lot of meme comments. Oh. Uh, meme-worthy comments. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to say 
them people that be posting WWE's new intro after the sale is very funny, and I mean, that's all I'm gonna say. I did see some of them. They videos. was wilding. They wilding <laughs> on Twitter. No, I, uh, please sketch. Uh, uh, ask you. I think if Stephanie re- resigned that abruptly, uh, <laughs> on a random Tuesday evening. On a Tuesday. Something is going on. Yeah. We're not going to find out probably. I don't think we want to find out any concrete evidence for at least another week or two. But um, I I think something is up. Whether it be that something, because there was, you know, rumors about something else coming out about Vince and the company and something that would be real damning kind of deal. Um, but see, I can't see how, if that happens again, how you're going to force him out again. Like... He already weaseled his way back in the first time. So, I don't know. I just think something something big is on the horizon. I don't know what, though. Yeah, see, there has to be... Uh, um, how, how do I put it? There has to be a reason. Like This woman not going to be a co-CEO mm-hmm. of this company. And then her, her, her father comes back and she steps away from everything. Like quits everything yeah not even like oh i'm gonna take a step down and just you know do part time and step away as chairwoman obviously because he's back but especially you know, when because just... i was listening to um was uh busted open radio and they had uh tom and jerry and mickey james on that episode when uh steph uh resigned and, and mickey james saying you know uh the locker room like stephanie and uh you know, when you look look at it like a a, a woman being in charge, mm-hmm. there's like you know, Mickey James like it's like it's gonna be like a little a power play. We gonna make some moves here, yeah. and then all of a sudden this thing, uh, she, she resigns, which which also makes you feel about that the sort thing could be true. Yeah, you that know? was kind of one of those things that fueled my like, okay, maybe this is true kind of thing because if that was the case. Is she going to be able to be in power kind of deal? Mm. And I was like, maybe maybe it's true. Because why would she abruptly resign like that? Unless they were like, you know, in talks. And she was like, oh, this ain't it for me. Y'all not firing me. I'm going to go. Yeah. And, or, and like I said, it also could be a thing where she <laughs> actually opened that box. She tripped over that box. was like, oh, this is, this is too damn for me, babe. I got to get out of here. Hey, hey, you need to come too. And it's just like. Uh, no. Uh, uh, do I have to? <laughs> well, because look, I I know I know Trish about is trying is trying to save face, which everybody was like, well, if Stephanie's going, then it's a it's a matter of time before Triple H goes. Now, as of right now, as of right now, he is still, uh, you know, as far as we know, yeah, as far as we know, the head of creative. Uh. And so Vince is not, you know, t- 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 uh, jump over to that part yet. And here's the but thing. But he's already apparently been planting the seeds. Yes. Did you see that? And he was, like, low-key harassing people, sending them notes, talking about they're not doing the stuff right. Nah, yeah, I, I did see that. It was like, he, it was like Walter, not him like Walter. I mean, Gunther or whatever. He's like, yeah, they, y'all not doing it right. Basically. So I did miss... Uh, Okay, so bring, bring, bring that to my attention because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read that th- those stuff yet. There was, I guess it's a rumor because I, you know, we have no confirmation. Yeah. But that he was when he came back in, he started looking at I guess the product yeah. and was sending notes to people in various positions, um, basically telling them that they're not doing it right, kind of like threatening, trying to throw his weight around a little bit, threatening them, you know, planting the seeds kind of deal where it's just like. Well, you know, I wouldn't do it like this. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, that was that was the rumor. That was that's what I I saw early. I want to say a couple of days ago, actually, that he was like sending notes to people, basically, kind of like, mm, you know, I wouldn't do it like that. Maybe you should be doing it this way, kind of do. Uh huh. Because I'm guessing if I send you a note and say I wouldn't do it this way, and then I pop up as head of creative and you didn't do what I said, then you will lose your job. Yes, it's a power grab. Bunch of people gonna lose their job again. Triple H had a talent meeting on Friday, and uh, he wanted to reassure that 
the rumors of Saudi Arabia. Like, first of all, it's like he knows he's he's been in that spot with, as the wrestlers. He knows that they know. Mm-hmm. So it was just like I I, I got to be as PR as I can, but I'm gonna try to be as real to y'all as I can by my the way I select my words. And he was saying that he wanted to. Uh, he he said that. The rumors you heard about Saudi Arabia is not true about about the sale, and, and uh, it, it is not a done deal. And if it did happen, it would take a lot longer. See the way you worded things. Yeah. Uh, that he said that as of right now, he is to have the creative, and but there's a big but. You know that could change. That's mm-hmm. the way he uses words. And uh. You know that Vince, uh, he said, Vince, uh, the first, uh, you know, he has been talking to Triple H about the career type, type, type that day, but the final say so, uh, goes to Triple H to make the final call. See, they know, and it's like Triple H wants, he, I think he wants to tell him, like, y'all, this shit over, prepare, brace yourself, <laughs> you know, what I say, like, 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 you know. How do Chris say, look, the world's going to end. Make sure you prayed up. So, oh, so I think he's he's telling them, look, I'm telling y'all right now, this ain't looking good. Let's, let's go. Let's and, go. To, let's go to Tony. Let's go, to Tony. Yeah, let's go to Tony. And uh, I, oh, I, no. I really do think that 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 staff meeting was basically like brace for impact. Yeah, now because uh, it's it's a right now. I mean. They're probably going to try to do, like, there's reports of uh, the board trying to sue Vince. Oh, yeah, that's already happening. Yeah, it's already happening. So I'm saying, Cause but he's like. throwing his power around. Yeah, so I mean, but ain't going to sign. I mean, he, he'll, he'll pay that and, and call it a day. No, it's not. It's mm-hmm. not that kind of sue. Oh, it's like, not that kind of sue. Okay. I'm you for money. It's like, I'm. It's, they're going to try and. But. So, yes, like, of course. When you, you hear sue, you think, oh, we're going after you for money. Yeah. But they're trying to, like, put something in place to stop him from basically throwing his weight around and yeah. abusing his power. I think I said he has something like 81% of the shares or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, he got he got more than, I think more than half maybe of shares. Yeah. So he has a lot of power in the boardroom. Um, so they're trying to stop him from doing it. Because like, if you're going to play legal games, then we can play legal, legal games. Yeah. And also, they couldn't technically still sue him because he still owed WWE their money. Yeah. So how you think how you think that 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 situation could work out? Because like <laughs> he gonna weasel his way back in and fire everybody mm-hmm. again. Yep. Yeah. Ain't gonna be no. I cut I cut the budget X amount of dollars. Um. Ain't gonna be. I'm. It's not like he's gonna sign a check for nineteen million dollars and give it back to WWE. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. Also, instead of firing, like he gonna start firing people in the office as well as back. wrestlers as well. I think if he comes <laughs> back, he'll do a complete overhaul. It's gonna be bare bones roster again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody gonna be sixty plus working there instead of you know what they got now. Exactly. Seventy plus. Uh, what you call it coming back? Laurinaitis is coming back. Uh, what's the guy name? Uh, oh my god, Brother Love. What's his name? Oh, Bruce Pritchard? Bruce Pritchard. He, he never left Bruce yet. Pritchard. He's still there. Oh, well. Well, he's going to have still a there. prominent role. Kevin Dunn is still there. And Kevin Dunn had the nerve oh, okay. at, at, at his talent me and talk about stuff. Well, Vince doesn't say anything uh, uh, to me about uh, taking over oh, Kevin creative. Kevin Dunn about to get a uh, raise and an extension. I'm about, I'm about to say, Vince ain't saying nothing to you. It ain't been a week yet. <laughs> he's talking about Vince ain't say, say, uh, s- uh, say nothing to you. And I'm like... Yeah. Uh, things, like, uh, things, are getting so, things are getting so bad Vince gonna sign Pat Patterson back Ayo hey, <laughs> This man is willing To watch the destruction Of his yep. company mm-hmm. Just to get what he wants Cut off your nose to spite your face, face. It's giving What's, all what's the word the for that? Narcissist? Energy. Oh. oh well yes I could I could see that Yeah. Um, But it's giving all the Vienna sauces energy Vince McMahon is definitely that kid on the playground that's like, if I can't have it, if I can't play, then nobody gets to play. Uh I'm popping all the balls. I'm kicking over 
sli slides and swings and I don't care. Basically, he is a he's an old brat. My fear is still that he well because as soon as they debunked the sale to Saudi Arabia, the stocks dropped again. Which once again, I think the stocks are going to start to drop regardless yeah. because if you. I don't know if it was debunking the cell. I think it was more so the talk of the cell yeah. might cause it to drop too. Because, look, what Triple H said was correct. If they were to do a sale like that, it's going to take longer because there are things that have to be done before you can uh, remove a publicly traded company from the stock market and, and make them go back to private. And then I'm sure there are other things in the background that would need to be done because now you got to hammer out this deal. Like, everybody's like, oh, well, the women's division is going to go away. It's a possibility. If, if they go to Saudi Arabia. Oh, they going to go away from yeah, now, no. now I'm just saying because there are some there are some people who are just like, I'm oh, not going to say what I was going to say, but just no, I was going to say they were going to go away for sure. Let's go make sure of that. They're like, oh, the women are going to go away. We're not going to have any more women's division and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you, we can't say that. I mean, is it a possibility? Sure. Anything's a possibility. Yeah. Um, but I doubt it'll have because they're, they're, they're not going to be operating out of Saudi Arabia. No, that's what I'm, but what I'm yeah. saying is. <laughs> nah, they ain't going to have a women's mattress too. Just the same way it's like, think about how we go other places and impose our views and beliefs. In other countries and other cultures, because yeah. we feel like it's supposed to be superior, it's end all be all. Yeah. And just because Vince is the chairman doesn't mean that the people who are now the owners, you sold your rights away. You sold your. Uh, well, that's that's why Vince is in charge of the sale. He wants to sell it, but still be in charge. Exactly. So, but I don't think that, that that's going to happen. That will be. If anything, probably the downfall of a sale with somewhere like the um, Saudi investment yeah. fund. They're going to want control to do certain things. And he's not going to want to let that go. So when you got a power struggle between two people with huge egos, mm -hmm. you don't really get nowhere. Um, but I ain't going to fuck with them Saudis. I ain't, I, you know. So it's just kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen. I would love to, because um, we can't see the full agreement. But I remember somewhere, I thought it said that if there was a sale of the company that they would be in the running or something like that. I don't know. Have first dibs. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what the actual, I don't know what the actual wording is of their deal. But if that's what it is, we, it could very well be that. They probably know that in the back, which is why everybody was like, this is BS. Mm -hmm. So if that's true, then they really are first in line unless something happens and the deal don't happen. Well, they just have first refusal. I mean, they, they just, you know, they, they had to look at theirs first, their bid first, basically. And and, and I understand I mean, that. But that's, that's a pretty big thing. If they offer to, to, to take them private mm -hmm. as a private business, if it's, he ain't got to answer to nobody or no shares or no corporation or anything like that, that he, he going to take that deal. Yeah, cause because if he, if he goes private, there's no investigations. There's no... You have to answer to the board and the shareholders to say, oh, well, why did you do X, Y, and Z? And where's this money? You don't have to report your earnings. Mm. So he knows what he's doing. But the problem is, I do think that he there's going to be a fight. But he might be able to make he might be willing to make some concessions because if you sell it to somebody like an NBC, um, a Viacom, or whoever yeah. here, they will, It's going to be still publicly traded. They're exactly. not going to. They're not going to take it private. Mm -mm. Um. So he still will have to answer for his transgressions. I don't know. I really don't know where this is going. Um. I just like as of right now. I just. I feel the, bad the for all these. Are some dangerous people. I don't. I. I just don't. I'm like that is the part. I'm like yo. I really don't want that to happen. I really. I really don't. Like that. That room. I hope it was like okay. We debunk. We ain't gonna do that. But like it's something in my gut that's saying that's the way they're gonna go because he's crazy enough 
to just want to be able to, to get what he wants for the, 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 the remainder of his life and do it his way. I just, I don't know, man. I, I feel bad for the talent. Imagine having to go to work with that looming over your head every day. Especially if you were somebody who was fired and then bought back. Yeah. It's like... Oh, oh yeah. Because, <laughs> shit. Hit Row, Karrion Cross, Tegan Knox, all them in trouble. Mia Yim, Bray Wyatt. Um, Strowman. Braun Strowman. All in, and, <laughs> and, we, and look, I'm saying this now. Something happened, and you get released again. Braun Strowman, deactivate that damn Twitter account. All right? Don't come out here talking shit about, oh, all these indie wrestlers, and then you come back out like, well, it's uh, CYN 2.0. Control your narrative again. Like, get the fuck out of here. Take that shit over there to Skid Row. I'm not... <laughs> I just... I, I don't like him. Like, as a person, he seems mm. like a shitty person. But to, to do something like that, that just doesn't seem... He, he seems very insecure. He seems... um. What is the word? I guess a shitty person is not what I'm thinking. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I mean, No, I mean like... Oh my God, it's going to come to me at the most random time. Like yeah. we're going to log off this podcast and go sit down and watch TV and it's going to come to me. But he just... I don't know. Uh, I'm blanking because yeah. I guess I'm tired. But it's like you don't seem to have any self-awareness, sir. Uh-huh. Like you could be in this very same spot. That you talked all this smack about. And then you were. And then you wanted everybody to come support you. And then they didn't. You was mad. And then you just ran back to WWE. So. Mm. Cut the shit. Um, I'll take back the shitty person. I can't mm. think of the word though. It's well, making me the, mad. The first thing that comes is ignorance or insecurities. or that's Something you know. of that sort. But that's not what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Either way. Um, that was just a quick aside. But. I just even it doesn't matter if it's just the people who got fired. Mm-hmm. If he want to chop it down the bare bones, <laughs> say they do buy it, and they like we don't want anybody but the legends. <laughs> then what you gonna do? <laughs> what do you do after that? Yeah, you can. I... Because then you can't say no. Mm. We just want the people we want, and it's like all right, so what we gonna do with the other seventy people on the roster? Yeah, or so or, or they got like, they got say, well, we want our women covered. If y'all go to the women, we got you, we got to have them covered up. Yeah, and I'm just like, damn it, I can't stand the wrestling and teacher all year. That dude made me sound like a pervert just saying it just like that. But I'm just like, but my goodness, you know, just my goodness. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. every, every every woman's alpha will be boring, you know. But like I said, but we just they say just don't know that yet. But but I think. Triple H knows, like he, he his, his wife just left. Like, there's no way that that that, that they're going over there and that they're, they're smiling and talking to each other like a regular old family. They can't be. Oh no, it's not possible. But listen, appearances are everything. This is the man yeah. who is still isn't he still legally married to Linda and they ain't been together in umpteen years. Yeah, aesthetics is is everything. So they gonna make it sound nice and dress up these statements and everything, and they could hate each other's guts, but they're not gonna tell us. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just kind of like I like saw my spot on Twitter to be a fly on the wall in Titan Tower. Absolutely, I'm like I would pay money. Honestly, I think they moved. Did they did they move yet or they didn't? I don't know. If, yeah. I I think they were on the path to moving. Right? Weren't yeah, they? Like, you know, cause cause I, 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 I did I, see. I, I, I was I, I was seeing moved. a few. I was seeing a few posts and like. Some of them was posting a building. It was like WWE headquarters. Like it was a building that I'd never seen before. And I was like, mm. so it's, it, okay, it's a possibility that they, that, they, that, they, that they could have moved. So yeah. either way, I still want to. I would pay money to be a fly on the wall. But yeah, in that boardroom for real, for real. Yeah, because I'm just like that's where it's so going when down. All when it was a unanimous vote that we don't want you back, but yeah, you back anyway. Exactly, because I, I I'm pretty sure Vince and his daughter probably got to some heated. Arguments, it could have been some that nobody with with that kind of position, that kind of power, who once again would just love to throw change in your face, is going to just quit everything. I don't. I think people are missing the point that this is not a leave of absence. This woman quit everything. Mm-hmm. She still got some like like some stake in WWE, like some shit, stuff like that. But she ain't part of the board. She's not part of this process. She's not part of. She, she's not seeing. No, she's, she's not. Even, she's not even. She's not even the uh, ambassador anymore. Whatever she used to be. Yeah, she's nothing. 
Now, when I first read it, I thought, yeah, I'm she just gonna, you know, just do what she was doing before that all of this happened. Yeah. But then she was like, no, nah, I'm gonna just be a fan. I was like, oh, that's even, you know, that's that- less than what she was doing. Yeah. That's crazy. That's that, crazy. That that is seriously, and I think people are, are truly not understanding that part. Like that right there tells you all you need to know. That whatever's going on behind the scenes is toxic. And pretty soon, it's I, all gonna come spilling out pretty soon. I think after WrestleMania, unfortunately, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna make it to WrestleMania before all of this comes boiling over. I think I didn't think I want to make as much money when it comes to uh, because well, see, here's the thing: what I think you want to get, you want to maximize the, the, the number of people that's going to come to WrestleMania because WrestleMania already too much has already broken records. For pay per views, that Vince is not done yet. Before they even now, they haven't announced one match for WrestleMania 39, and that that, that thing already sold out quicker than any other WrestleMania. Well, sitting with Survivor look Series, to, and Ro- look forward to Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns Part Four. So we ain't, we ain't Part Four no more. We we had like Part Ten. Well, what, at WrestleMania Part Four. But here, here's the thing, though. I I do think that after WrestleMania. After they complete all their story, because you 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 going to complete the storyline, or, or, or they, do, do you, you think, think they just care about the storyline? Story 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 no. Thank you, because no. I have to say the same thing. They do not care about the storyline. He does not care about the storyline, but he cares about the money. He he, he, if he don't, obviously, he don't think none of these matches are making money. Obviously, I, exactly, because I was like, if he cared about the money, if it was that much about the money, he wouldn't be trying to weasel his way in yeah. to plant. Hmm. Um, See the mm, you're not doing this right. Also, I did see another rumor. With, now this, I'm pretty sure this one they say came from Meltzer. So take yeah. it with a grain of salt if you want. Allegedly, they did a um Fox did an audit of SmackDown, and they came up with like 400 million in losses or something like that because it did not make the revenue that they anticipated. So they told them that um SmackDown's not worth the price tag mm-hmm. of what they're paying for it. That's allegedly. <laughs> So, they may not. I don't know if it's going to be a. They're not going to renew that TV contract. Yeah. Or they're not going to pay them as much. Kind of. So that's the. That was the. The last thing I saw. That was like yesterday, and I was like, hmm, interesting. But again, look at your source. Consider your source always.